I think uh, the core values of the team, you know, um, be humble, um, stay hungry. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's the core value of every year, you know, coming in humble and hungry. Uh, you know, it's a new year, new beginning. Um, we got a new team. Last year, team was successful in um, accomplishing the overall goal of winning a championship. And then this year, it's all about new challenges, man. We got a, a lot of new guys, uh, a lot of new challenges ahead of us, and uh, we're excited for it. Listen, man, I just hope Coach Reed feeling in his heart <laughs> to understand. 30 hit different, right? Um, you know, um, I was just talking to someone comparing me and Travis, and I was telling them, like, Travis' job is a little more easier than mine because I'm fighting 300 pounds every play. And Travis catching the ball, fighting 135, 140 pounds. You know, I just hope that he find in his um, amazing heart to give me a day or two off coming up. You know, um, we'll talk about it, have further conversations. Maybe I need to have a one-on-one -on -one with Veach, talk to my guy Clark. You know, we're going to figure this thing out. Chris, hey, you just said it's really happy to see you here again. Of course, after the last season, everybody's happy to see you. How happy are you to be back? Well, um, it was circumstantial, you know. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be back, man. Um, you know, it's been two years since I've been able to be out here with the guys. Um, Love being in this environment where we all can focus on football, get better, compete, and challenge each other day in and day out. And, um, you know, um, it feels good to be back in the dorm, staying on the twin bed. Huh? Yeah, it's a queen. I haven't slept on a queen bed in, in decades, but it feels good. The last six years, you've essentially played an extra full season with the, with the uh, postseason games. How have you been able to stay in shape? And then with that hunger, with that success, how do you how do you pass it on to the newer players and to keep striving to attain greatness? Yeah, you basically said I played 10 years in the league. Uh, that's exciting. Um, but when you look at it, as a, it's a plus, right? Because <clears throat> with those games, it comes rings, right? It comes an opportunity for a ring. So um, don't really look at it like that. I think my mind frame is always to um, be the best I can be. Um, I strive for DPOY every year. Um, it's a commitment to myself that I make and also challenging myself to make my teammates better. And I think um, no matter how much the money is, how much money I'm making, how much money I get, um, my mores never change in football. I, uh, I play football because I love the game, not for anything else. Since you mentioned them rings, how much does it motivate you and drive you to chase a three-peat, something that has never been done before? I think chase, chasing history is... Um, all part of it, man. Uh, you know, uh, when a lot of players retire, they always say they want to lead a game better than when they uh, when they started. And if we can get this three-peat and just continue to add in, adding to the legacy of the Kansas City Chiefs, I think uh, that that that'll be um, that'll be a huge accomplishment not only for us but for the NFL. Chris, Felix's second year. Um, what do you what do you anticipate growth-wise from him this coming year? For who? Felix. Oh, he's coming along, man. Uh, he's making strides, you know. Um, had to face a lot of adversity last year with the up and down plan. Uh, that, you know what I mean? He's getting acclimated, coming out of K-State, you know, right down the road. So um, I think last year it was a bit challenging for him. And I think this year he's taking it with stride, making improvements day in and day out. And he got a, got a full training camp under his belt. That's always a plus. And, you know, we can continue to build off of that. That means I'm doing my part on this team. They, I'm being the best player I can be for this team, for this organization, and also um, challenging my teammates to be better, man. Um, I think that's my overall goal here, uh, and I think we're going to continue to improve on that. Well, let's do four more. We got Steve, Sam over here. And Chris, you mentioned being, you know, been a couple years in the league. Uh, what's it been like for you being back here, challenging your teammates? Coach Reese said that they, you know, that you bring the energy. Do you feel like your teammates feed off of your energy? I think we feed off of each other. You know, um, like I was still in the D-line, uh, adversity is going to come. Uh, you know, the first day as everybody is excited, everybody is full of energy. You know, uh, two weeks in, we, a couple padded days practice, uh, you start, we start to look around for energy. So I, I think we're able to feed off of each other. Uh, for me, I just try to stay consistent with who I am and my um, attitude every day. I know it, we're going to face a little adversity. But for me, it's just staying consistent. And um, if that's giving energy to the to the guys, then that's what I'm here for. Did you have a specific purpose of your offseason training 
beyond just staying in shape and, and getting in shape? Is there something specific you were working on? Nothing specific. I think more so is just about being in shape, being able to come out here and then um, compete in training camp, um, play in and play out. You know, I haven't been here in two years, so I don't know what to expect. I didn't know if we were staying in KC or the dorms. I didn't know, you know. <laughs> but no, man, no specifics, man. Um, just staying in shape, staying uh, physically fit, and keeping my mentals right. Chris, your defense took a step to that next elite level last year. Now with the changes, what's it going to take to try to maintain or even do better this year? Well, we lost a couple of huge pieces. Um, Ladarius Snead, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. So that's a huge piece. And um, we've got a lot of challenges ahead. Uh, you know, we can compare to last year, but it's a completely different team from last year. Um, but we, we got some challenges ahead of us. We got a lot of, a lot of young guys that we're looking forward to stepping up. Still got Trent McDuffie, uh, and we can build off of it. We can build off of it. We got a lot of young guys, and, you know, when the pads come on, we can see what's going on. That's what needs. Uh, Chris, are you going to be in the movie? And if not, how are you? You're the most interesting guy on the team. How could you not be in this movie? Well, man, I don't, I don't know. I said the same thing. Uh, well, I don't even know when the movie is supposed to be shot or none of this, but uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>